Hey, it's the Frogman coming at you live with another. No, no, man, we ain't doing that today. We gotta do this quick. I'm just trying to do this. Man, I'm just trying to do my job. All right, we'll clock out. Clock out. All right, all right. Come on. All right, then you do your thing, I do mine. All right, let's see how that works out for you, man. Nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> That's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing, man. All right. Anyway, so I just watched the second episode of Big Order. Now, if you don't know what Big Order is, well, then you're lucky because it's a piece of shit. But in the second episode, there was something that stuck out to me a lot. It's fucking stupid. I got mad. You got mad. And when I get mad, I get angry. Get so angry. in this episode, the lady... She has the power to come back to life as many times as she wants. Whenever she dies, she just instantly heals. And every time she does this, a little fire comes out of her body. And it's called like the rebirth flame or something. It'll be in the goddamn video. You can see it. Anyway, it does this every single time. And we've seen this before. We know that it does this. It shows us earlier in the episode that that's what it looks like. But every time that she dies in this comedic section, it's it comedic. puts little text on the screen telling you what it is. Even though you already fucking know that. And it's not like the text is stylized in any way. There's nothing stylistic about it. It doesn't try to fit the aesthetic of the scene of the show. It's not trying to be there for style. It's there solely to tell you what this thing is that we've already seen. And that's fucking pandering. It's fucking stupid. It's demeaning. It's condescending. It's condescending There's a far superior show going on right now called Space Patrol Luluko Space by Patrol Kuki Luluko. Hiroyuki Imaishi, Imaishi. Uh, director of such hit shows as Tank and Topa Gurren Lagann and Kill a Kill. He is the master of taking tropes and actually doing something with them. In particular, in Space Patrol Luluko, there are two instances where to move is announced by the narrator. There's the part where the girl transforms into a gun and it says, Justice Gun Morphe! Then there's the part where she actually fires the gun and it says, Fight for Justice! And it does this every single time. Now, you might think of this as annoying or whatever, but it actually adds to it because there comes a part in episode three where while she's having dialogue with another officer, she keeps firing non-stop, and it just keeps going. Fight, 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 fight. And it's great, because it's an absurdity. It takes this thing so that man. seems tropish, seems like stupid trimming on the show, and actually turns it into a charming little joke. There's I'm something there, sure. and it's in line with the show. But in big order, it's just there to tell something that we already know. So it's fucking stupid, that's all I gotta say. That's it, man. Is it okay if I come in, yo? Boy, if you...